Hey, it's me, the roller skater, aka Skater. And I'm gonna do something different that I do almost that I do on most of my vids. I'm gonna do like a little review for you guys. So here it is. I'm gonna do a review of Super Mario Galaxy. By the way, I drew the picture. Okay, I'll just go to the storyline first. So like every hundred years, a big comet flies over Mar Mushroom Kingdom, right? Peach gives Mario a letter which is similar to like Super Mario 64 if you played it before. Yeah. She told him to go meet him. This happens like probably every Mario game. Mario goes, Peach is a dare, something bad happens, Bowser and his gang of bad guys just start making trouble. Mario travels all through space to find Peach. That's the storyline. Now, next stop is going to controls. And I would say that the controls are really simple and easy. All you gotta do is walk around with a control stick because you gotta use the, um, the nunchuck controllers. You press the A button to jump. Duh. And you shake around the Wiimote to do a spin attack. No, don't think this is Sonic. I mean like a Mario spin. Woohoo! That stuff. The game's good, and I'm almost done with it. If you're if you're one of those gamers who like really long games, play. Cause some parts you gonna find confusing, so you just skip a level, and they can just go back to it. It doesn't really matter. Each level is a galaxy, which has three to three to six stages in it. So you gotta pass all those to get a new galaxy and each galaxy would have like to get a galaxy you need a certain amount of stars that you gain from each level and when you get that much amount you unlock a new galaxy to get and every once in a while you're gonna have to fight a boss or you have to fight either Bowser or Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. is really easy because he doesn't really fight you, he just uses some kind of robot or something. And for Bowser, he is hard. I just say that. Because I went to a part when you have to fight Bowser for like the second time and he is not easy. And you have to go through a super hard level just to go through it. This is a lot of fun stuff. Every once in a while, some little pink dude will be outside the uh, absorb observatory thing. You know you stay before you go to a level. And he would ask you to give him star bits. Those are like colorful bright colored star things that you collect in every level. And if you had the amount that he asked for and you feed him and you feed him that he would like turn into a galaxy, a new planet you can explore in. But those kind of galaxies only have like one stage, so don't expect it for it to last. I shouldn't really tell you the characters because you should probably know already since you heard of the game. You probably will ask me this. Is it a two player game? Yes, but it wouldn't be really like one player is Mario and one player is Luigi. It's really that one player is going to be Mario that's player one and the other one's going to be like some little star thing that you point with the remote at. And it helps Mario out collecting um the star bits. So that would be pretty lame. It's more like a Sonic and Tails kind of thing. But overall it's a really good game and if I would rate it, I would probably give it a seven point nine or eight point one out of ten. I recommend it if you play if you just like got a Wii. But if you don't have that much money, don't get it at all. Because it's one of the most expensive games in the market. Even though it's kind of old. They're like $50 or more. And yeah, that's going to take a lot of effort to get. I just got it like a few, <laughs> a few days ago.
at all. The music cut off. Let me fix that. Okay, let me continue. I would do more of these reviews and draw a special picture like that one right there. If you would give a request and say like, what video you, I mean, what review video do you want me to do of? It could be any game for the GameCube or the Wii. And if I have it, I just might put it on YouTube. So you just put your request in the comment section below. Yeah. It's Skater the Gamer, and I approve this message.